Hey everybody, welcome again to the Underground. Still the only YouTube channel filmed in my basement. Today we're going to be making like an incense burner or a reusable straw or whatever, you know. Anyways, I've made one once before. I'll show you that one in a bit here too. Uh, we're going to use some somewhat exotic materials that I think tend to get a bit of a reputation amongst hobby machinists. And I'm going to show you we can just throw it on the little PD-250E with, uh, with a little high speed steel and tear right through it. Let's get over there and do that. Okay, so first I'd like to apologize. I did lose some footage from my other camera, so all the shots I have of me working with titanium are going to be kind of far off and boring. Uh, I promise that's just like the first couple minutes, and we'll move on from that pretty quick. Uh, so we are going to start out with the titanium 6AL4V here. Uh, that's grade 5 titanium. It contains a little bit of aluminum and a little bit of vandium. I believe it was developed for the aeronautics industry to have certain mechanical properties, but kind of the pleasant side effect of that alloy is it's a little bit easier to machine than pure titanium. This is the story of a man named Benjamin. He, he worked in his basement on YouTube videos. But one day, all his, all his subscribers were gone. But was there to give him a comment, like his videos, or say hi. Okay, so as I previously stated, I lost most of the footage from turning titanium. But I do have this one particularly tasty chip to show you. Um, you know, with titanium, it's about impossible to get the chips to break. It's, it's about impossible, we'll put it that way. Um, so, so really, one well-formed, tightly coiled chip that was controlled and went where you wanted is, is, you know, is great to see. And you, you can get some good colors out of titanium, too. Um, but on this little lathe, once again, just, just a nice bright finish, no jagged edges, nice tight curl. Uh, very happy with this chip. Moving on to 360 brass, uh, this is nothing special, it's going to cut like butter for us. This is the story of a man named Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay, so here's the 303 with the hammered brass inlay. Um, I just kind of winged that idea and it came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, 303, you know, stainless sounds intimidating if you're new to it, but 303 is a softer stainless. It's pretty easy to cut and it's free machining, so it's really, really approachable. It's, it's you know, if you're looking to get into stainless, it's a good place to start. Uh, we're going to get going on finishing this up now. This is the story of a man 
Okay, boys, here's the final piece. Uh, really happy with how it came out. Um, one thing you did not get to see is I did go back and added the three grooves to the titanium end offline. I just wanted to differentiate the titanium a little bit. You know, the, the brass and the steel and the inlay, they all look very monolithic, and I really like that. I wanted the titanium to look a little bit separate, and I think that, that accomplished that. And it just added a little texture to the outside. Uh, so, yeah, on this side, I got the pattern I wanted with the dots. Uh, none of my holes went straight through the diameter when I was just slopping around on the drill press. Uh, so we got a different pattern on the back. <laughs> and as you can see, you know, there's some scratches. I didn't do a perfect job of polishing it. Uh, I told you guys I had made one once before. Uh, and this is that one, same thing, titanium brass, uh, stainless. Uh, this one doesn't have any of the inlay, and uh, it's not polished. I don't like the dimensions quite as much. Uh, but there's that one I said I'd show it to you. There it is. All right, so before we test it, I just have to show you, bam, the official merch has arrived. That's right. And this heat, man, I got to tell you, this heat is so exclusive, you can't even have it. This is the only one. And that's, it's a shame because this slaps. I mean, it does slap. It slaps my entire bod. Um, but I got this. It's done. And we're going to give it a shot. You ready? This whistle doesn't work at all. 